So in PDS2, first we get a question. What did the job do with your input files? So we can give it pasted in the data set. Give submit. It did not sort the data. I think this is wrong. The correct answer should be pasting. Let's continue. So let's go to the next step. This is the PDF. For this challenge, we have to first download rock1, rock2 and rock3. So let's download it. Then we have to complete step 1 to 9 and submit the JCL. So these are the three files rock1, rock2 and rock3. In step 1 we just had to download these three files. In step 2 we have to upload it to the source PDS. So this is the source PDS. Let's right click and upload member. Go to the downloads folder. And here you can see rock1, 2 and 3. Select all three, press enter and you can see rock2 and rock3 is there. Rock1 is missing so let's upload on rock1. Here is a rock1, let's upload. And now you can see rock1, rock2 and rock3. All three are now there. In step 3 it is asking us to set high level qualifier to our user id and zxp public. So we can just click on zexplore. Here we can give our user id and zxp public, press enter. Dataset list command submitted. And this is the output of this high level qualifier. So go to step 4. Go to public JCL and look for merge sort and copy into our own JCL. So this is public JCL. This is merge sort. Right click copy and paste it into our own JCL. paste member keep the same name and you can see here is merge sort it is merging rocks 1 2 and 3 into rocks out in step 5 it is just giving us more information about the symbolic parameter then in step 6 it is asking us to predict the output we have to go to line 8 and we have to tell what is the name of the output data set so this is step number 7 sort out the output dataset name will be my user id dot output and then there will be a member rocks out in step 7 we have to create our own dataset and then we can give it any name that we want and the dataset type should be partitioned so let's go to our profile zxp explore right click create a new dataset let's give it a name z 04085new pds Press enter, data set partitioned, allocate data set. And you can see this is new PDS, this is just now allocated. So step 7 is complete, in step 8 we have to run the job called merge sort. So here is merge sort, right click and submit job, job submitted 9606. Close and expand again. 9606 condition code is 0. So let's go check the output. The output is in the output folder. This is the output folder. Let's expand it. This is rocks out. And this is the content of the data set. It has 101 lines. It just merged all the three files rock 1, 2, and 3 together. Then in step 9, we have to rename it to pds2 out so let's right click rename member pds2 out press enter and it is renamed to pds2 out then we have to delete the data set that we allocated so this is new pds right click on it and delete so it is now deleted then we have to go to public jcl and submit check pds2 public jcl check pds2 right click and submit job job submitted 9615 9615 condition code 0 so let's go to our website 
go down challenge complete congratulations challenge completed you have completed this challenge videos too if you like my videos then you can support me by buying my mainframe course after buying this course you will get 19 hours of mainframe training this course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.